You know, I, there, there's a, a friend of mine who is pretty good at fighting, um, but she weighs she weighs about half of what I do, and um, and I said, let me let me show you why there's weight categories in in fighting, mm. and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a move called the wall rush, and, and you have to just I'm just gonna lie on you. I'm not gonna put you in a lock or anything. I'm just gonna lie on you. So Elon Musk is a case study about this weird age that we currently live in where the perception of a person can shift dramatically over a period of just a couple of years. Just do a complete 180. Just a couple of years ago, he was supposed to be this Tony Stark type of figure, this galaxy brain super scientist that was more wholesome than your fondest childhood memory and held the secrets of the universe in the SpaceX headquarters. And then he went on the Joe Rogan podcast, inhaled some weed, and proceeded to do a bunch of things that made a lot of people hate him. And to be honest, I'm still a little confused as to why people hate him as much as they do because a lot of the things that he does to me are just hilarious like buying twitter and destroying it is funny i'm sorry like people always get together and give each other these hypotheticals of what they would do if they had an unlimited supply of money like yo i would pay somebody a million bucks to kick their grandma or the old sixth grade bus stop classic of would you blow somebody for a million bucks yo i remember this one time at the bus stop this kid goes like a million bucks yo hells yeah yo i'll buy myself a new mouth <laughs> All I'm saying is people always talk about it, but then clutch their pearls when somebody actually goes and does it. He's living his life exactly like a lot of you would if you had the chance. I'll say this though, seeing more of him in popular media and how he operates and talks, I don't know if he's the super genius that he's been built up to be, but I'll say this. He can sketch, he can draw, like he can draw. He's not Picasso, you know, he's not at that level, but he's borderline artistic. And there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the guy can draw. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, if you listen to him talk, I, I challenge him to a duel under any circumstances. A sword fight? Sure. There's just a little. I'm willing to do it anytime, anywhere, any place, any role. Just a little something. So when he was on the Joe Rogan podcast recently, and the discussion breached his potential fight against Mark Zuckerberg, my man did not disappoint. I was like, okay, how about the Vegas Octagon? <laughs> um, and then, um, and then, uh, Italy actually was willing to let us use the Coliseum. First of all, let's give Joe Rogan props for dressing up like the Joe Rogan Ace Slick meme because that is funny. I love it when people poke fun at themselves and don't take themselves too seriously. Elon, I guess, is dressed like one of the Ricks that evil Morty off to the Citadel or that Tim Burton version of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which by the way is a very underrated movie. It got a lot of flack, but you should watch it. Try it out. Also, Elon pulled up in the Cybershock prototype and Joe shot an arrow at it. <laughs> blue, the, blue the arrow apart. I mean, these people are in their 50s and living their best lives. Anyway, once their conversation eventually hit his fight against Zuckerberg, Elon just went full. People take note when a small army defeats a big army because it is so unusual. Yes. Not because it's normal. Right. Um, you know, if there's like, if it's like, it was two against 10,000 and boy, did we beat those two guys up. Basically, Elon decided to take the Bradley Martin approach and say that, hey, he's a small guy and I'm a big guy, therefore I am better than him. Rely crossways on you and, and you, you try to get, a, get away. And you won't be able to get away. Because you couldn't. Just, you, you know, like, like if a horse falls on you. Right. You can get trapped under a horse. Right, but you're not a horse. What do you weigh, about 230? <laughs> yeah, two, 240, yeah. One of the funnier things he said where I actually thought he was joking at first until I realized, hey, this guy might actually be serious. He said that he was going to hit Zuckerberg with a move that he called the walrus, aka he was just going to lay on top of him so Zuckerberg can't move underneath him. And then he told Joe a story about how he performed this move on a woman. <laughs> you know, I, there's a, a friend of mine who is pretty good at fighting, um, but she weighs, she weighs about half of what I do. And... Um, and I said, let me let me show you why there's weight categories in, in fighting. Mm. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a move called the Walrus, and and you have to just I'm just gonna lie on you. I'm not gonna put you in a lock or anything. I'm just gonna lie on you. But I'm I'm gonna, you know, position myself such that it's hard to get off get out from under me. Mm -hmm. And I just I'm gonna lie crossways on you, and and you you try to get get away, and you won't be able to get away. Because you couldn't. Then Joe mentioned that Zuckerberg trains and actually competed in a couple of tournaments and did really, really well. So Elon listed off his own prior fighting experience. Judo, Kai, Shinkai, Karate. Yeah. Um, I did some jujitsu, Taekwondo. Um, 
street fighting, which I, was involuntary. I don't know, guys. I, I really don't know because I always thought that Elon Musk was this like computer science type of guy, this young genius that was just in his room, like building computers, putting things back together, working on coding, creating video games, stuff like that. And, you know, I always figured that being that and being a prolific street fighter are kind of like mutually exclusive things. You know, I've never seen people do two of those things at once, like be a computer science genius and also a badass street fighter. Just never seen it happen in real life. But, you know, he is a special guy. He comes from a special bloodline. I don't know, man. Maybe he has a special kind of strength. <laughs> and look, maybe I'm just an ignoramus. Maybe there are things that I just don't get in this world. But I grew up in what you would call a rough city. You know, I'm from Philadelphia. I went to a public school in Philadelphia. Generally speaking, I know what people that hand out ass whoopings on the regular look like. And they never, ever look like this. On the contrary, I've seen kids that look like that get abused on the regular. I mean, just the hair alone. Like people would have been smacking his hat off just to rub the top of his head. I mean, kids are animals around here. What can I say? Maybe things are a bit different in South Africa. I don't know. Maybe in South Africa, this is the guy. This is the, the guy that does things. The warrior king, the white panther. Uh, so like it's high control? So from some no, it, like legs across your face, is that what you mean? No, if you if you, if you try to do 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 an armbar on the side. Here he is describing jujitsu maneuvers to Joe Rogan, a jujitsu black belt, and you can tell that he has absolutely no idea of what he's talking about. Like he's seen these moves on TV, but he doesn't know what they're called, and he doesn't really know how to do them. He's just trying to kind of recall the maneuver from memory. Very common. A one arm armbar. Yeah, one arm. Yeah. Um. You know, you have your one arm around the, the neck, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and you take their arm and you extend it across. Oh, I see what you're saying. The, um, okay, um, so um, like from a scarf hold. So a scarf hold, you would take the arm and put it over and you would push, push it down with one arm. Yeah, that's unusual though. And as I was listening to this, I was just kind of like, nah, nah, like there's no way he's that delusional. Nobody is. Like nobody thinks that they can look at a move on TV and just understand how to perform it without even like really practicing it. But then I listened further and I realized that he might actually be that delusional because Joe was bringing up different fighters and he was actually kind of getting butthurt that Joe was praising these fighters, almost as if to say, Joe, like you got the greatest fighter sitting in front of you right now. What are we talking about here, bud? For example, Joe talks about how Francis Ngannou has the hardest register punch on the punch machine. And Elon goes like, oh yeah? Well, you know, I, I haven't punched it. Like, let me see the machine. Like, what's up? He's the hardest puncher ever measured in okay. all of MMA. There's a machine that we actually have outside at the gym. Okay. And if you hit this thing, Francis has hit it harder than any person really? who's ever lived. Yeah, well, look at him. Look can at I him. hit it? Yeah, we can set it up. It's almost as if he doesn't realize at all that he is very far from fighting shape, number one. And number two, he is over 50 years old. And buddy, I mean, you can get as many hair transplants as you want, but when you're over 50, I mean, that's just not your physical prime. And Zuckerberg is 39, which is also no spring chicken, but he trains regularly, he takes his training seriously, and he's probably on testosterone replacement therapy. And I apologize in advance to all the big guys out there living out their big guy fantasy about hitting little dudes with the walrus or whatever, but I'll put a 39-year-old that looks like this and trains regularly against a 52-year-old that looks like this and doesn't train any day. I mean, people just move differently once they hit a certain age. It's like the Irishman where they try to de-age Robert De Niro but still kept his old man movements and it just looked weird. And I know that 52 is technically not that old, but when you don't train regularly, a difference of 13 years makes all the difference in the world. If this fight actually goes down, my money is 100% on Zuck. I mean, Elon Musk looks like an old broken down refrigerator, man. Come on. That doesn't look to be in super great shape. Well, he's enormous. Yeah. And this is another thing that made me laugh my ass off. Elon's barometer of whether or not somebody is a good fighter seemed to be whether or not they're jacked. He just kept saying, oh, he, he, he looks like he works out. Supremely physically advanced. He looks fit. Joe kept pushing the issue of making this fight happen too, and eventually it got kind of awkward where you can tell Elon felt almost like backed into a corner where he didn't really want to talk about it, but he almost felt forced to, and it led to this like long, awkward pause. I'm just excited that you're interested in doing it still. Sure. All right. 
Didn't you f- back up doing like sumo wrestling? Look, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that Elon Musk is in some horrible, disgusting shape because he's not. For a man his age, he is in decent shape especially considering that his level of activity is most likely pretty sedentary. And due to that, he is definitely not in fighting shape. Whereas Zuckerberg, to me, just looking at him and knowing what he does, most definitely is much closer to fighting shape than Elon. Like if you put the two of them on the spot and said, hey, do 50 proper chest to floor pushups right now, go i believe that zuck would be able to do it and i think that elon wouldn't even be able to do 15. i think the guy is completely delusional about his physical abilities i think he's delusional about fighting i think he's never been in a real fight i don't think he's ever competed in any martial art on a high level and if he even trained in a martial art like he claims to have i don't think he's ever achieved anything of substance in it i think him and zuckerberg have a common issue they both have more money than they know what to do with but now they are looking for genuine human connections and male friendships they just want to be cool they want to be one of the boys they want a cold beer on a friday night and a pair of jeans that fits just right but they're taking two different approaches zuckerberg the more humble of the two is partaking in activities and actually trying hard to do the things that he thinks the people that he wants to be friends with do. Probably did DMT, probably bathes with ice and steams himself after, you know, whatever. Well, Elon has a pretty big ego, so he just kind of takes the route of just telling everyone that he's an expert at everything without actually doing anything. Like his approach is just kind of like fake it till you make it, but then also believe in it yourself and then just kind of roll with that forever. Like I think a good martial art for him would be that thing where that old guy comes out and he doesn't really do anything he just kind of like flicks his wrists and all his students just kind of like fly back and do somersaults you know what i'm talking about like they always do these exposals on it like ah see it's not real like oh you mean this guy doesn't just have like a portable invisible force field with him wow you know my mind is blown anyway that's about it for me if you want to reach out with any questions or suggestions you can reach me by email at gk2425 at gmail.com or through instagram at greg underscore k three as always thank you very much for watching i really really appreciate it leave a comment leave a like tell your friends put the word out so that we can make it out the hood with this one